Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Am
Amen. And we haven't gotten there, gotten there yet. But we know that he loves me. And you can easily say, Jesus loves me this I know. For the Bible tells me so. How many of you know we know that he loves us? Amen. And before, amen, I get into my message, I want to say congratulations to Arion who got accepted in Howard University. Oh, great things in store for her. Every young going to be somebody. She's going to go somewhere. She's going to do something. Amen. With her life. And I thank God for that. She has the initiative to do but let me tell you something. What else I got going on? Anybody have denim gen, uh, jeans? Denim. I said like that. Give them to me. I come and pick it up because I'm trying to get her a scholarship. The last uh, truckload is going to be over at the Reformation Center. And I, I will pick up those things. And take, I'm trying to get scholarship for Barana High School. Amen. And you got to do that. Amen. In order for them to be able to go to the next level. Amen. Give the Lord another hand clap. Amen. Eleanor will be graduating. Amen. Do what, Eleanor? You can do that. It's going to be in June. Not that everybody know. Amen. Because we've been so busy doing so many things. Amen. But I want to just bless the name of the Lord. And I'm so glad. Amen. How can y'all glad to see Tawana and Bria? Oh, oh, I'm so glad to see y'all. I'm so Amen. Amen. I got up this morning. Tawana said, Mom, you want to go to breakfast? Let me tell you something about Tawana. Tawana got so much love in her yes. and so much compassion. Yes. That come down from generations and generations. My mother was like that. Yes. She said, Mom, come on and eat breakfast this morning. Let's go and get caught. I said, Child, I got to go to another service. <laughs> but it doesn't mean anything afterward. <laughs> the church, we can do something. Amen. So, I thank the Lord for her being here. And then my little Jessica, who I used to give her to do everything for. Jessica, can you go to the store and do this? Here's the money. I just thank God for my children, my children's children. Amen. And I know you all thank God for your children. And your children's children. So, always call us my tribe. And that's a lot of them. My tribe. Amen. Amen. Go with me to the book of Luke, the 24th chapter. I promise I'm not going to keep you long, but I want you to understand the significance that Jesus did for us. And he did for me, he did for you. Amen. Amen. Listen at this. Now upon, before I get started, let me pray. Father, I thank you for all things in the name of Jesus. I bless your name today. Give you all the honor and glory and praise. I thank you, Lord, for coming into this world, dying, and that we may have right to the tree of life. Lord, help us to be more and more like you. Help us to be loved. Help us to love like you. Show compassion like you. And Father, we give you all the honor and the glory and the praise today. And we thank you that the words that I preach and proclaim today find good ground. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Luke, the 24th chapter. Now upon the first day of the week, I want y'all to pay attention to this. Very early in the morning, they came to the sepulchre. The sepulchre. Bringing the spices which they had prepared and sent others with them. And they found, y'all listen, found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. And they entered in and found not the body of Jesus, the Lord Jesus. Listen to what happened now. Y'all know that Jesus had told them, he said, look, I'm going to go into Jerusalem and I'm going to be turned over to the high priest. They're going to crucify me. They're going to kill me. But you can best believe on that third day, I'm going to get up out of the ground. Amen. Amen. Listen. How a stone was inside of a cage that a stone was rolled on top of that cage. Come on, somebody. Jesus was a stone. He is a rock. Come on. 
on somebody. How many of you know that Jesus is my rock? Come on. And listen, this stone was there, but the Bible said it was rolled away. And they entered in and they found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass and they were perplexed. They were confused, trying to find out what in the world happened to my Savior. And if I have a title today, I would say, do you remember? Come on, somebody. Come on. Do you remember? Come on, somebody. Do you remember the words that Jesus said? Come on. Jesus said these words to them. He said, look, don't look for me in a tone, in, in a tomb after three days. Because I shall rise again. Somebody better say amen. You know why he rose again. Come on, somebody. With all power in his hand. But listen. And they entered in and found out the God of the Lord Jesus. And they came to pass as they were perplexed. They had got behold. Two men stood by. Them in shining garments. And as they were afraid, you know these were angels. Amen. The angels of the Lord came and rolled away that stone. Come on, somebody. The resurrection power of Jesus Christ. Amen. He rose. Amen. On that third day. And the angels said, and they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth. They couldn't even understand. Will you be upset when you go through trials, when things are coming? 